Soweto, South Africa. Here lives Lebo Han, a 35-year-old single mother who has been using skin bleaching creams for over 15 years. I couldn't stop at all. I couldn't stop at all. I was in the hunger for that beauty. I even uh, mixed it with my body lotion so that I, can, I could be light the whole body, not, even, not the face only. In her 20s, Lebohan became jealous when her friends gradually became lighter in complexion. She started using the same bleaching products, switching to different brands over the years, depending on what her friends were using. First, I was, I was very beautiful, light, like, like a, 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 a white woman. But after the after effects, that's when they started. I was becoming red and itchy, especially when I went outside to the sun. I would, I, I, my skin would, 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 would went completely wrong. Lebohan was not aware of the long-term price she paid. But how could she know? Skin bleaching products are readily available in supermarkets, salons and corner shops in South Africa, the purchase not accompanied by any medical guidance. Lebohan takes us to her local supermarket to show us how easy it is to buy these creams. So what's the difference? This one is from the next port. So if you've got like dark spots, it's taking on dark spots. I want one that is going to lighten my skin. Okay, and then this one is more black spot corrector. It's for spots on the face. The other one, normally I don't know they're buying this one. I don't know. I'm against this one to be honest with you. The customer is buying them. It's not difficult to buy them because they, they are very cheap. Some of them are cheap than from getting one from the doctor and then you can even get them from the street vendors. 40% Africans bleach their skins, that's according to the World Health Organization, and more research shows that most are unaware of the potential harm and do not consult doctors. Twin doctors Kanisile and Zianda Debele advocate actively against the use of skin bleaching products. They are shocked to find them easily available to shop online. Products containing mercury, steroids, and hydroquinone, ingredients with devastating consequences. This is absolutely shocking for me. This is actually the first time I've seen a 4% hydroquinone. On the market. On the market, yeah. it's freely available like this. So. Yeah. Mm. They even sell in combos. Yeah, in To bulk. make it easier for you in yeah. bulk, hey? That product there, HQ2%. HQ it's, it's abbreviated, abbreviated as, HQ. as HQ. Now you may think, ah, 2% is it's a low amount, right? But any hydroquinone has been banned out of all products, all yeah. cosmetic products yeah. in South Africa. So whether it's 1%, 2%, it does not matter. It cannot be contained in any cosmetic um, products. Mm -hmm. It's banned. It's literally banned. Skin bleaching products are banned in South Africa, in Africa, Mercury, in lead, so many places. Hydroquinone yeah. and illegal steroids. Yeah. Banned. But people are still selling those exact products on the internet. This patient over here is a patient who got severe steroid acne on the chest area. So this is classic of it. Um, it happens on the chest and on the back, um, the upper back. This patient over here is a patient who you can tell was using hydroquinone for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. How do we know that they're starting to have the complications of the ochronosis? When patients stop using skin bleaching creams, they usually become darker, so they bleach more and struggle to stop. It's a back and forth back and forth. Anyone who bleaches their skin will have hyperpigmentation when they stop bleaching their skin. Yeah. So now they have to go through the whole bleaching thing again in order to try to and even away. out their skin tone. And they don't have the patience for that stuff to happen, you know, mm. long term. They want it to happen now, so they keep going back. That's why they can't stop. Back in Soweto, Lebohan tries to restore her skin with natural oils. Is there hope that her skin will heal? She used ingredients usually prescribed for a maximum of three months for 15 years. If you stop using them, you look like a crane, you look more older because you've stopped look, uh, using them. They're not good at all. People are getting hurt. It's not okay, the government should do something about it. They are illegal, so they must be stopped. Today, more young African women and men than ever are bleaching their skin. 
It seems like years of public health campaigns have evaporated. Can we change the script? Disregarding the legal ban on the creams, scores of South African influencers and celebrities like Kanye Mbao are promoting and selling their creams online. Colorism, a specific form of racism, stems from stereotypes regarding dark skin. It is normalized through images we see in the media, successful black artists with light complexions like Beyonce, Alicia Keys and Mariah Carey, and the underrepresentation of darker tones. Yeah, I, I think and it's simple. Beyonce yeah. is lighter. Okay, they have the same amount of Grammys, I could say, but she's lighter. So obviously, you you look at that on a higher note. You know, you put her on a pedestal. Yeah. We visit the rising hip hop duo, the Tralavel Twins, in their hometown of Germiston. Puppy and Major have recently signed with local industry legend Questa. Are they the next best thing in hip hop in South Africa? They are at the breaking point with their careers, and there is certainly some pressure on the twins to always be at the top of their game, hoping that skin bleaching creams will come to their aid. They started using skin bleaching creams a few months ago as a way to enhance their skin tone to brighten up for the camera. They buy a container of cream for about 7 euro, lasting them about two weeks. Luckily, they don't show any signs of damage just yet. But what are the long-term effects of their decision to become lighter? What do doctors in the belly have to say? But it's so amazing how they use a Caucasian it's woman. It's always a Caucasian lady. Is it even amazing? Yeah. I guess that's, that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We see here also 2% hydroquinone. Dr. Kanisile does not approve. It's a condition called acronosis, okay? It literally means that you get stubborn pigment right here on the cheeks, on the forehead area. We can't get rid of that pigment. Once it's there, it's there, it's there, okay? Um, we can't lighten it. Mm. We can only prevent it from becoming darker and spreading by using sunscreen, but we can't treat acronosis. Those are the dangers of hydroquinone when you use it for too long. Were you guys getting redness? No, Did you ever have redness the anyway? Brew, the, the brew. The yeah, guy the maroon, yeah. It was, it's yeah, red now. Yeah, and it's... Guys, stop using that was the, the weirdest product, thing. Eh? That was the weirdest thing. Remember I did say it was reddish. Yeah. 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 Mm, he's starting to burn. Yeah. That's the first sign right. of, of you starting to get the acronosis, the yeah. blackening. Yeah. yeah. And just remember also the bleaching products. Also, please just tell this friend of yours that it's not just about, you know, becoming dark or all these other things. Skin cancer, eh? Yeah. Long-term use yeah. of those products, especially with him because he's been using it for a very mm. long time. Skin cancers are very real. Melanomas. I'm going to discard this thing. Yeah, because you're still so young. Yeah, like you really I'm going to discard. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And why did you guys, um, do you think being lighter in complexion actually helps you be more successful in the music industry or just in general? I feel, of course, for, for women it's more, more because, yeah. Yeah. but even for men as well, you know. Even for men as well. Mm, it's but like, who though here in South Africa? Because people say they want tall, dark, handsome. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's the old thing. We watch too many movies. <laughs> Vivica A. Fox yeah. movies. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, you don't hear like female artists singing about like I want a light skin guy. You know what I mean? They so, speak about you know. That's true. true. So these yeah, are the things that we need to speak more about the mm. fact that you know you don't need to be light to get a partner to get a head yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that it doesn't change anything yeah. just because you're exactly yeah yeah we call mm. that body dysmorphia but yeah. that's a conversation for a different day <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you know i feel like the biggest thing is just the perspective yeah. of what race is what color is yeah, yeah. the person is a person color is, you know? mm. yeah Different strokes with different folks, but that's everybody is and beautiful. Art. That's, the, that's art. the thing. Once, the you, once you start seeing people as art, you you love it. After the visit, Major and Puppy stopped using the product. They plan to spread the message of being proud of your natural skin tone in the lyrics of their music. <laughs>